Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers with Harris County Judge Ed Emmett, Harris County Flood Control Executive Director Russ Poppy, and Dr. Ekman Russo, Deputy District engineer for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. A lot of money will be flowing into our region in the coming years, and a lot of it will be money the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will be putting to good use. We've talked about that up to now. Um, how much, if any of it, will be going toward the Barker and Attucks Reservoirs? Well, right now, we have $9 million that has been budgeted under the Bipartisan Budget Act of 2018 to perform studies for in improving the uh, performance of Attucks and Barker Reservoir dams. Mm, and that the work is underway as we speak. Currently, it's been going on all, all along. We do have a current rehabilitation project going on right now for replacement of the outlet structures at Attucks and Barker mm -hmm. and improvement of the cutoff walls in the earthen embankments. And a lot of conversation has taken place, more so than it has been in the past, about maybe doing another reservoir to think about that, to study that. What goes into looking at even if that's a possibility. So the, the studies that we have budgeted for and are receiving money to perform will include investigation of a third reservoir. It will also include other aspects such as uh, in, increasing the storage capacity of Attucks and Barker reservoirs by removing fi, uh, s uh, soil, also improving inflow and outflow channel conveyance as well as improved outlet structures. So we look at all of those in combination in engineering studies to determine what the right combination is to achieve our objectives. It could it be a little bit of all of it? I mean, it could be a little bit of all of it. When you say removing, we're talking about digging it deeper maybe? Correct. Or that sort of thing? Correct. So that conversation, you, you all weigh in on that as well, right? On whether or not we need a third one? Well, I think we definitely need a third one. The question is where do you put it? Because the original design did one thing, but now we have a lot of people living up along Cypress Creek. I mean, hundreds of thousands. Right. We've got to take that into consideration. But in terms of Attucks and Barker, uh, Russ can talk about what the county is already doing to help the flow of the tributaries that, that feed into that. Mm -hmm. so. And, and Judge is right, I mean, we've executed a you know, $13 million project right now just to start removing the sediment that has accumulated within the channels, as, as uh, Dr. Russo had mentioned, coming into the reservoirs just to restore that capacity since, uh, since Harvey hit us. And so that effort is ongoing as we speak. So that's just since Harvey hit? That's just since Harvey. That's so correct. that's a part of what goes on. That long-range process, you were talking about how long it takes. When you say, well, we want to deci decide what we're going to do, there's a time frame. I, I'm, my understanding was that it takes maybe four years for to research it, to study it, and then another 18 months or so to design it and then implementation? That's pretty accurate, yes. That's a long time. People need to know how long that's going to take. Even if you have the best design in the world, even to study it, it takes a long time. It does. You're used to that. You're not used to, I mean, people are no. coming up to you. They don't really understand no, that, that, do that's they? That's right. People are frustrated and angry, and I, I agree with them. They should be. But keep in mind, we've also got other factors out there. You've got the Katy Prairie that I think most people now say we need to save the Katy Prairie and use it for a natural resource that it is, which means that third reservoir has to take that into consideration. The Cypress Creek we've talked about and, and all those things come together and, and we have another partner that's not at the table right now that hopefully will be January and that's the state of Texas. They have 11 billion dollars in a rainy day fund that could go a long way toward funding this third reservoir. And I've talked to a lot of the legislators, and they seem amenable to that. And that, that could help speed up the process. City of Houston has some regulations now, too, for homes built in the 500-year floodplain. They came out with that. Um, that's, that's creating a little bit of controversy in some areas. Um, what's, how, does that, how does that jive with what the county's plans are? Well, the county came out with new regulations, I guess. January of this year. January, before the, before the city did. But the issue is, and I'm not a hydrologist, I'm not an engineer, but the issue is we've got to know exactly where the floodplains are. And, and we don't right now. So you can have all the regulations and codes in the world, but if uh, Russ knows the numbers, uh, we had like 160,000 homes flood in Harvey, and I believe 105,000 of them technically were not in a floodplain, is that right? There were greater than 60% of the structures that flooded during Harvey that were outside a mapped floodplain. That's correct. So they were in a floodplain. They just didn't know they were in a floodplain. All right. So everything's got to be upgraded. What do you tell residents who are listening and watching the best way for them to get their concerns about what's going to be happening with flooding and flood plans in the area? Get involved with our public engagement process on this bond issue. We're having meetings all over the county. Uh, we've had, I guess, thousands of people come out. Literally. Total. Mm -hmm. uh, we are taking their input. This is not 
a, a message from on high where we're going to do this. We're saying, okay, what, what can we do to help improve your neighborhood? And people have to understand that their neighborhood can be improved by projects that aren't even there. They could be upstream, downstream, somewhere else. Well, I'm going to put all the information. We've got a newsmaker's extra. We're going to continue this conversation because there's a lot more to talk about. The Army Corps of Engineers has a great website with a lot of information. Did you do that? I didn't. <laughs> take credit, take credit. Now, it's a good website, a lot of information. Of course, you also have great websites. We'll put all of that on clicktohewson.com under the news and then Newsmakers banners. That's where you'll find Newsmakers Extra as well. Up next.